Hello guys and welcome to my empty bedroom! Today is going to be a moving vlog and to start this video off, I just want to let you all know that I shattered my vlog camera yesterday. I was actually going to start this video yesterday. I had my camera in my lap. We went and grabbed the keys from the landlord. We just drove over there and grabbed them from him and literally my camera flew out of my lap when I got out of the car and shattered on the ground. So I was able to do a curbside pickup for a new one, which was amazing. So let me know if you think the quality is any different. I actually got an upgraded version of my last one. But before jumping and I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Scentbird, which I absolutely love Scentbird. I have worked with them probably five to six times. I wanted to share with you guys what the little Scentbird fragrances look like. They come in these little travel-friendly containers, and they are so cute. Look at this. You're able to pop it in and out, so you can travel with this super easily and friendly. They're also very, very chic, in my opinion. And basically, inside of here, you get the fragrance of your choice, and they give you a super generous amount. You can choose whichever fragrances you want for the month, and this one happens to be Montel Soleil de Capri. So essentially each month you could choose a new fragrance and let's just say for the month you didn't want a new one you can actually skip it with no penalty and you can actually add on additional items too so you could have two or three items for the month and they range anywhere from fragrances, lifestyle, skincare, and makeup. So they have a ton of different items. They actually offer a quiz as well which I think is great because shopping for fragrances online can be challenging sometimes. So they offer a quiz that you can actually input your preferences and what you typically like in fragrances. They can match you up with some of your perfect pairings which is really amazing so you can kind of choose which ones you like. I thought this inclusion would come at the perfect time because I'm literally moving and you don't really smell the best while moving. You typically sweat and you know you're carrying lots of stuff. So I'm gonna spray some of this on for sure. That way I just smell good and I feel good about myself all day. Something else that I really like and I think a lot of us should keep in mind is that fragrances can really, really change your mood. So I just love spraying the Soleil de Capri by Montel because it literally smells like you're in a tropical location. And I don't know if you guys feel this too, but I use like lavender for sleep and I use aromatherapy all the time and I think that spraying on a scent that kind of takes you back to a time period or just gives you like maybe a nostalgic feeling or gives you just like a feeling of you're not in your house, you know, it can really just uplift your mood so much. And if you guys would like to try out Scentbird or just browse their selection, you can use the link in the description box below and use my code LONE30 to take 30% off your first order, making it only $10 for your first month. And you can also download their super easy iOS app for your phone if you would like to. That way you can go ahead and just like browse their fragrances and it's a very convenient little application. But we are starting this moving vlog. I'm literally gonna spray on, I'm gonna just mix the fragrances. I don't even care. I'm putting on some Soleil de Capri too. Mm, it smells so good, I love it. It's about an hour later and we just got to the apartment and I am ready to go see the new ceilings. I can't really tell anything from here as you guys can see, but let's go ahead and head upstairs because basically the ceilings are supposed to be fixed and then also the thing is supposed to be fixed. We also need to add a battery to the thing but we brought that with us. So, oh, oh my gosh, the ceiling looks amazing. What the heck? It literally looks like it's like plastered or something. Wow, I actually thought it was gonna be fully smooth like the wall for some reason, but this adds so much unique texture actually and I'm very into it. So they scraped it all and then I don't know if they put something over it or if they like partially scraped it because some stuff is still there, but I'm not mad at this, it's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, uh, it looks so good. Uh, wow, and then it's also scraped in here I assume. Yes. Wow, it looks so much better with a nice scrape and ceiling. It looks beautiful. Look how pretty the chandelier looks there. I actually stopped by Target today to get a battery for that carbon monoxide thing, so I'm gonna put that in really quickly so that it stops beeping, but I literally found a piece from the Studio McGee Threshold Target line that I wanted so badly and it sold out immediately online and I found it at my Target, so I got it and I'll share it with you guys in just a minute. Marie is redoing the spice rack. Look, we have a pull-out spice rack! <laughs> Makes my heart so happy. This is kind of fun. So many options. We're stocked up, honey. <laughs> okay, so just went ahead and replaced those batteries. So now there is no chirping noise, which is amazing. But you guys, this is the Studio McGee piece that I got from Target. It was $85. I'll link it below. Maybe they have some more online, I'm not sure. But look, I am so excited about this. I absolutely love when they use these kind of like abstract scenery photos in their work. And I wanted a piece for above the fireplace and this is just so perfect and pretty. It's a great size too. So I'm thinking about putting it and mounting it, you know, above just like a little bit higher and then styling some stuff on top of the fireplace. I just really, really love the look of this and it looks really expensive too. Like this looks like a full on painted canvas and then it's a framed canvas as well with this like lightish toned wood. I am in my bedroom. 
right now and I'm super excited because I got a delivery here. I got my anthropology side tables. I ordered these when they had a sale and I wanna tell you which ones they are really quickly. So these side tables are the Justina Blakenly Bora side tables from Anthropology. Now I just checked, they're not available anymore. I'm so sorry about that guys, but I had to jump on the sale when I saw them on sale because the original price was $3.99 then they were marked down to $1.59 and I got them for $109.96 with free shipping. And they are literally stunning. So let me unbox one for you guys because I haven't even seen them yet. Okay, I just opened the box. this side table. I don't know if you can see all the detail in this. Look at the top. Look at the sides. Look at the legs. Look at her. She is iconic. I am obsessed with this nightstand. Oh my gosh. The brass detailing as well just really makes this look so much more expensive than if it was just the cane. It's fully caned on the inside too. Like look at that detail. Attention to detail. And the top looks like that. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this nightstand so much and I got such a great deal on it. Like, I honestly probably would have bought this at full price too. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this nightstand was stunning. And for $400, this looks like a $400 nightstand. I'm not, like, I'm just being real with you guys. This looks very expensive to me. So the fact that I got this for 109 bucks is amazing and it's so pretty. So I'm very excited about this. It might not look like a couple hours later, but it has been. And basically, Marie and I have just been doing quick trips between our current apartment and this apartment and just transferring things that we don't want the movers to move or that we didn't really box ourselves. And since we got an additional day to move. Also, can we quickly talk about how I completely forgot that there were mirrors on the entire wall behind me for the first full day. And because the walls looked so good, I completely forgot they were even mirrors on them. Literally the next day, I realized the mirrors were gone. Let's resume. We felt like it was just perfect to spend all today like doing small trips back and forth and moving whatever we possibly could. So, um, as you can see here is the little mirror here but here is all my clothes they are put in here and then Marie's kind of sharing part of this closet as well because her closet is smaller so I am trying to also downsize all my clothes I want to get rid of some of them as well there's also this entire rod but I don't get the point of this rod at all because if you have clothes on this they just block those it's very very odd so I'm trying to just kind of keep everything in just this section here, which I feel like is definitely enough space for sure. But I wanna keep this open here. That way you can walk directly through to the Lone Fox room for like easy access, you know? So it's not like you have to walk all the way around as if it's far, first world problems, but yeah. It's a little cove in here, like you guys. I'm in the closet cove, back in the closet. Once again. Hi, it's been a couple of hours and it's getting a little bit darker. I don't know if you can tell, it probably still looks pretty bright, but it's a little bit darker in here. It's probably like 6 p.m. ish. And we've just moved over a lot more stuff. Let me kind of show you guys the progress so far. Here is the living room. It looks, oh my gosh, so bright. Um, basically, we moved over some of the alcohol. And over here, Marie literally like already set up basically the entire kitchen. Like she put so many things away, like this Pam. <laughs> And like all of these cups and mugs. Marie's gotten some of her items in her room as well. I moved all of the drawers from my DIY cabinet, as you guys know, over here. So this has all my camera equipment and just a lot of stuff because I didn't want to pack these in boxes. I felt like it was like counterintuitive because I'd be unpacking them to put them back in the drawers. So I basically used a drawer as a box and I carried these all to my car, then unloaded them in here. But we're also trying to figure out exactly how the internet works in here because it's so weird that I'm literally walking through the closet to go into my room. Um, how the internet works in here because it's just like, we can't find the internet connection. But I think I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be the biggest day where the movers come and move a lot of our items in and we will be in the new apartment completely. Hello, good morning guys. It is moving day. As you can see, the entire apartment is literally packed. Let me show you guys like a little bit of what it looks like. So we just have all of this. I just wrote this box right here because 
literally that's what's in there <laughs> um we have all the other stuff over here there's boxes over here it's really only these things here and then of course like these two larger pieces this one here this one here marie's room just has some things in here and then my room just has some random things in here too but i also am not sure like if i'm gonna vlog the whole process because we have movers coming so it seems weird for me to like vlog them moving our furniture but i kind of just feel like i'm gonna check up with you guys later on because i feel like the move is only gonna be like a couple of hours we only have to have them for three hours minimum and I feel like we don't have that much stuff and last time I know when we moved it only took about three I think maybe four hours all right guys it is like three hours later and there is almost nothing in the apartment let me go show you Here's my room, as you can see, very empty. I'm gonna bring these over after the movers like kind of move and we're gonna come back here and clean everything just to make sure it's nice and clean. And then Marie's room is empty too. So there's literally nothing left. Um, I am going to catch you guys at the new apartment. Oh uh, my gosh, I forgot how crazy moving was i mean it wasn't that crazy so we started moving at 8 30 or that's what the time that the movers started tracking it at and it is now 209 so it was like basically four hours like five hours ish i'll give you guys like a super random little tour of what is in here so we have the media console here with the tv and then this is marie's old headboard which is out here and that's a mirror for my room because i don't need any more mirrors in my room basically and then here is the couch Back there is all of our other like decor pieces and then the super pretty cane book stand. You guys look how amazing this looks in this apartment. I'm just obsessed with this. It looks so great. Of course, like everything's just randomly placed here. This is exactly how the movers put it. I guess they were trying to stylize it for us a little bit. Like they did a great job, honestly. And then in the dining room, there is some stuff over here, rug, and then just some stuff in the horror movie room at the moment. And then we already set up the entire kitchen while they were moving, so everything's already kind of placed in here. Here's Marie's room. Everything's kind of already in there. And then over here, we have the bathroom right there. Lone Fox room, which literally has so much random stuff in it. I have to put all this away. Um, oh, there's the dresser. I was wondering where the base of the dresser was. I was like, oh, I wonder if they forgot that, but nope, it's right there. And then we have my room, which looks like it has like nothing in it, honestly, but it's all kind of in the lone box room at the moment. So this is everything in here. And that's a coffee stain, guys. Don't think I peed the bed at the end. Like this is was actually the top of the bed but it's a coffee stand, I swear, I swear. Oh, and then also I ended up putting my desk inside the little nook here and it fit perfectly against this wall. And I felt like um, originally it was going to need to go, you know, right front and center here, but I personally cannot work in this confined like area against a wall. Like I need to be able to sit and then like, you know, see out and see stuff. Like I don't wanna be sitting against this wall with a wall on the right side of me and a wall on the left side of me. So I thought if I did it here, at least I can kind of see everything that's happening over here. Okay, checking back in guys, it is now 7.20. I don't think you can even see that. And we are completely done moving. Everything has been now completely moved. We actually went back over to the other apartment to basically clean up our leftover mess, like vacuum it, just make sure that it looks nice because we have a walkthrough with it tomorrow just with like the landlord and there's still such good light right now and 720 but i'm gonna go ahead and probably continue on and i'll check in occasionally because i'm probably going to be unpacking and just like working for however long i feel like like i think i just am gonna go until like midnight ish and then you know call it a night then so keep you updated thing I really want to show you guys which you all have probably seen on my channel before it literally looks like daylight right now that is crazy let me turn this down okay so something that I am obsessed with are salt lamps I don't think I will ever be able to live without a salt lamp ever again um, I'm someone who gets really anxious at night. I don't know if anyone else does. There's some nights where I don't fall asleep until six or seven because I literally am laying in bed anxious. So I have to get up and try to do stuff. But I always feel like having like a salt lamp around is just warm and inviting. Something about like the vibes that it gives off just makes the room feel so much like cozier and just like not as anxious, like not as dark and like you have to be asleep, you know, like this just 
sheds like a nice like warm light so um <clears throat> i'm gonna link the one i have below it's from amazon but yeah i thought i would tell you guys since i was just taking it out and i was actually looking for this because i love this Good morning guys, it is the next morning and I, yeah, I woke up and I am getting ready to start kind of continuing off the moving vlog today. I feel like today is actually going to be like the last day of the moving vlog just because we honestly unpacked so much yesterday and I really want to save a lot of like the makeovers and stuff for future room makeover videos where I'm going to go in depth and do DIYs and such. So today is just more of unpacking, kind of placing things and showing you guys like just basically what the rooms look like. So here's what my room looks like. It is a little bit messy as you can see already. Um, I did kind of have an issue sleeping last night, not gonna lie, because there's no curtains on these windows and at six, literally like 6.30, these were like blaring light in. So I was literally under the blankets trying to fall back asleep and it was a little bit challenging because it was just so bright in here. So I already went ahead and I placed an order for curtains to have them delivered and it was expensive, you guys. I never realized how expensive covering multiple windows was. Oh, here's this little area over here. Look how cute. It's a little desk area. I love that. And then we have the closet right over here. Um, I kind of started unpacking my shoes, putting them on the Amazon little rack thingy there. And I also moved in my DIY dresser you guys saw. Um, and this is just housing some of my clothes at the moment because I want to actually get a larger scale dresser for this wall. Living room looks like this. It's so bright in here. Just check this out. It is currently about noon, I believe. Maybe a little bit later. Let me check. It is actually 2.01, so a little bit later than that, but it is still so pretty in here. And I feel like the lighting kind of gets the best in these rooms. At around maybe like four-ish, the sun's actually on this side, so the sun kind of like comes in more and it's even brighter. So this is what this room looks like. The dining room just has tons of random stuff in here. We have a trillion pictures by the way and literally marie already set up her entire room she is iconic like her room is completely already done and i mean of course we're going to be making it over for the video because she has like a whole new aesthetic she wants to go for but speedy. you're so speedy but the thing that we are going to be conquering today like the biggest thing because i feel like my room's kind of put together i don't have a lot of stuff in there because almost everything from my old room is in here. This is known as the Lone Fox Room. And as you can see, it's crazy. So Marie and I are actually gonna start organizing this room and kind of get this a little bit more situated because it looks like this at the moment. But you know what? We moved in like literally like 15 hours ago. So we're gonna go ahead and start on this. Alright guys, so here's how the room is looking so far. Now these cube systems actually used to be in my closet. If you remember, they had all my shoes in them, but um, instead of putting them in the closet because there's not space in this closet, I actually am just going to set them up like this. And then over here, we have these other items. So this is the dresser, my DIY supplies. There's a ton of open space here. I actually want to get some form of like big center desk filming station because I just love working in the middle of a room. I used to have a scrapbook room and that is exactly what I did as well. So I want some like sort of big table here. I feel like the room is more about functionality and not like practicality. Like it's a mixture of both, but as long as it serves like filming purposes, it doesn't need to look super pretty because no one's gonna be seeing the exterior. It's just more storage for my supplies and that kind of stuff. So that's where we're at with this room. I also have some um, pants I need to put my dresser over there. Hello from the bathroom. The lighting in here is actually so pretty. I've never had a bathroom before that um, had a window in it. Like my, all of my old apartment bathrooms, my one in my downtown apartment, both of them didn't have a window. The one in my current apartment didn't have a window. Had a window in like the toilet area, but not in the actual bathroom. My hair is literally going crazy. But um, it's so pretty in here and bright. So I'm going to go ahead and actually kind of organize and unpack my bathroom stuff. I have them in boxes down here, if you guys can see. So I'm gonna Alright guys, I organized all of my bathroom space. Inside here we have 
some nice options, skincare, my Scentbird fragrances. And then down here is just like other random stuff. Like literally these are products brands have sent me. I've gotten so many products and I try to use a lot of them and just test them out. And if I don't, I get them to friends and family. These are the ones that I actually do still want to try and use or they're just products I actually use like sunscreen and self tanners and um, like nose peels and things like that. And this is all just miscellaneous like medicines and random stuff I need to get an organizer for for this section. This is actually from Scentbird as well. Okay, so I feel like that kind of sums up most of this moving vlog, if you will. Um, I'm gonna walk over and show you guys like what the Lone Fox room looks like. Here it is at the moment. Just lots of random stuff in here right now. It doesn't look anything amazing, but at least there is storage space, you know? I'm gonna push this in here. The closet area into my room. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in here right now. The lighting is so nice. Just like imagine me filming right here, you guys. All right. So I feel like that kind of concludes this moving vlog. Now, I just want you guys to know that I am not a vlogger. That is something I have never claimed to be. I am so bad at vlogging. I could set up a camera and talk to it and edit in clips of me, like making things and whatever it is, but I just am not the best vlogger. So I hope that this was interesting for you guys. I don't even think I've ever done a vlog on this channel before. So let me know if you guys liked this video. That's the thing I'm so bad at is I always forget to grab the camera during important moments. And then it went by and I was like, I should have vlogged that. And then I just didn't. So and you guys how cute is this filming area right here it's like inside of the little nook and i have all my books over here um my little high school diplomas right there and some other random things just like decor and stuff that i'm going to be adding into this space to make it feel really nice and cozy but i hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you have not already make sure to definitely check out scentbird i'm going to link them below for you guys and see if you want to try some new fragrances or wellness beauty makeup whatever it might be they have a ton of different products over on their website and don't forget to use code loan 30 for 30% off your first purchase. And yeah, my hair is going crazy right now. I'm gonna go try to fix that a little bit and then honestly get back to just doing some random stuff in the apartment. I didn't wanna show it too much of like decorating or like a lot of this room spaces and such because I really wanna do full on makeovers of those spaces. So I wanna share with you guys kind of like from a before standpoint to the end standpoint so you can really see the entire process. I am so, so excited to be in this apartment. I can't even believe that I live here, honestly. Like it is crazy. I do need to figure out something in my bedroom about the light in here. I think just adding curtains is definitely key. I already actually ordered them. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's really all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I cannot wait to start creating so much fun content in this apartment. The lighting is amazing. That's like one of the key things I always look for. So yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next one. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.